Welcome back to Broncos and Parks Garage. My name is Chris. If you're new to the channel, please stick around to the end. You'll see additional links for content we've already created and uploaded. For those of you that have already subscribed and watched a few of my videos, thank you for your continued loyalty. I do appreciate it. Today we're going to go over how to remove your instrument cluster as well as replacing the bulbs with LED bulbs. So let's get started. The first thing I recommend doing is disconnecting your battery terminals. That way you won't kill your battery with the door open and the courtesy lights being left on or hear the door chime. Now in this Bronco, I'm missing the driver's side door, so that's not an issue. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is remove your instrument cluster bezel. That's the black trim that goes over this part of the dash. I've already made a video removing that and I will put a link in the description below if you wanna use that as a reference. The next step will be removing this trim piece. It's commonly referred to as the fuse panel. Two either T20 or seven millimeter screws hold it in place. And there's four clips, there's two on each side. And again, I've referenced this in my steering column video. I'll put a link in the description below. If you're not familiar how to get to the description, you just need to click on the title of the video and the description will pop down. Let's get these two screws out. Now that you've got the screws out, you wanna remove this panel. And again, it's held in with those four clips, so you wanna pull straight out. And you can see the clips, there's one here, here, one there, and one there. We'll set this aside. The next step in removing the cluster is easier shown on a cluster that's already been pulled out. So I've got one right here. We need to remove the shift indicator cable this is attached to the left side of the instrument cluster. It goes underneath the steering column and reattaches to a pin that's connected to your shift arm. That's what moves the dial back and forth when you shift gears. So let's get that out right now. This is the cable I was talking about a minute ago, and it goes up underneath your column on the right side of the column near the bottom. And right over here is a five and a half millimeter screw head. That's what holds this in place. So I'm gonna get that socket on there. I'm gonna back this out, and I apologize for any shaky video. I'm doing this uh, one-handed. Let's get that screw out. Okay, I've got that disconnected. You can see that this goes up to that cable, and that's what's getting kind of blurry. We're gonna pop this cable right here off the shifter arm. And usually you can just lift it up with your finger. It'll pop right off, but this one's giving me some trouble. So I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna pop that cable end, there's a little hoop off that pin, and that's directly connected to your shifter arm. This is what I'm referring to when I say connect to the shifter arm. Give you an idea. So off camera, I'm just gonna, let me get this key out of the way. Off camera, I'm just gonna pop this cable off that little eyelet. So I've got the cable loose. Now it's just a matter of taking this and fishing it up on the left side of the steering column. It may be, tangled up in some of the harnesses back here but for the most part it's going to lift up and you'll be able to gain access to it when you remove the uh, instrument cluster itself let's do this next the next step will be gaining a little bit more access into this area in front of the cluster so make sure that your truck is on a flat surface or the tires are blocked you'll insert the key turn the key to the start position but don't energize your truck and pull the shift lever down that'll get everything out of your way but again make sure that your truck isn't gonna roll when you do this. I don't want anyone getting hurt. Inside, there'll be four black screws. There'll be T20 or seven millimeter heads. Don't remove any of the gold screws. Those are just holding this lens over your instrument cluster. So we're gonna remove the four black headed seven millimeter screws at this time. Okay, I've got all four screws out. So, you can basically start pulling the cluster out at this time but again you want to keep an eye on that shift indicator cable and ours doesn't look like it's going to give us any problems i've got it uh i've got it i've got it fished out on the other side pretty well so we'll start pulling the cluster out after you've freed up the shift indicator cable you'll start moving the cluster out gently there's no way for you to see exactly what I'm gonna be disconnecting behind this instrument cluster. So I'm going to show you on that cluster at the beginning of the video exactly what I'm doing behind this dash. What I've got here is an identical instrument cluster that we'll be pulling out of this truck 
in this video. This one was pulled out of a truck a couple months ago. I'm using it as an example. You've got three plugs. You've got a vertical plug, a horizontal plug, and you have the center plug. This is the one that goes into your PSOM. Ideally, you should just be able to squeeze these tabs and pull straight out, but some of these haven't been removed for the past, I don't know, 25, 26 years, so they're a little sticky. These printed circuit boards get a little wonky and you don't want to tear that. It's all old, it's all brittle, and if there's one thing I've stressed throughout all the videos I've done is this stuff is brittle. So, let's start with a vertical clip. I'm going to squeeze it and kind of wiggle it back and forth and see if we can get this out. Okay, this one came out fairly easy, but again, when you're working behind the dash, it's not that easy, you can't see it. The center clip is just the same. You'll squeeze a tab like a normal clip and pull this one out. Pretty simple. And the last plug will be the, excuse me, horizontal plug. You'll grab the two sides, squeeze, and you'll pull that out. Now, this came out fairly simple. It probably won't be this easy behind the dash because this one's obviously been taken apart before. But for the purpose of this video, I will film me struggling <laughs> taking out those other plugs. So let's get to it. All right, let me try to get these plugs out. got the horizontal plug out Should give us a little bit more room to look I've got the center plugs out and now let's get the vertical plug out. all right we've got all three of them out the first thing you'll notice is that this has a green circuit board the one we used in our example was a red circuit board. I believe that was out of a 94 or 95 Bronco. This was just pulled out of a 1996 Bronco. Mechanically, they're all the same. They have the same amount of bulbs. And speaking of bulbs, let's get to the LED swap right now. I've got the cluster on my workbench. I'm not gonna go over any of the nuances of cleaning this. You may or may not want to take some rubbing alcohol on a lint-free rag or some Q-tips and gently clean some of these contact surfaces. I'm not gonna do that right now. Also, when you're putting LED bulbs in the bottom of your warning lights, I would leave them out of the anti-theft. Actually, someone removed this one, so it must have been blinking. And I would leave a bulb in the airbag area of your warning lights on the bottom. On all of my trucks, I always leave these as bulbs, and I just swap out the 11 bulbs up here with LEDs. I get my LEDs on Amazon. This is what they look like. I'll put a link in the description below so you can go grab a set. 10 come in a pack, but you need 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So you need two packages, but it's not bad to have spares. So let's start by removing one of these, and I'll give you an idea. It's just a tiny, not even a quarter turn. You pull the ball out. They're held in place by these, uh, I'm guessing, copper uh, little tension tabs, I'll call them and they kind of dig into the copper that's in this printed circuit board. So when you put it back in, you line it up, and you make sure that those tabs are touching copper. They pretty much only go in one way. So real quick, I'm going to pull these out. I'll probably do it off camera. Pull the bulb out of its holder. I'll set the bulb aside. We'll grab a new LED. We'll press that in, and we'll take the LED and put it back in. And that's it. I'll quickly do the rest of these and then I'll speed the film up. Once you've swapped all of your bulbs out for the LEDs or light emitting diodes, do a test run. Reconnect your battery terminals if you disconnected them. Gently set this cluster in place, connect your three plugs, and then energize your vehicle, turn your headlight switch on, and make sure that these light up. If they don't, you either have something wrong with your instrument cluster, you have dirty contacts, which you can clean, or the first thing I would do is pull these bulbs out, turn them 180 degrees, reinsert it, and then reinstall it. 
make sure they're indexed properly. I'm not going to go into replacing the instrument cluster because basically you're going to do everything in reverse and nobody really watches these videos that long. So let me cut to my outro right now. Unfortunately, I didn't do a before video. It's about 4.30 p.m. I'm in the Detroit area, so there is sunlight out. I did cover the truck as best I could with a tarp. But to give you an idea, when I turn the lights on, that's what we're looking at now. And I know for sure that your 25-year-old bulbs don't look this bright. So I hope you're happy with this video. Please put comments in the comment section below whether you liked the video or you didn't like the video. Please like and subscribe to my content, and I look forward to our next video.